She is like not having fun with him. <laughs> She's like so happy. Wait, is she hugging him and trash right now? Oh my God, she's holding my son lovingly. And he's like, please, I don't want to be near this trash bag lady. And she's like hugging both of them. Wait, that is so cursed. I hate that. I hate every moment of that. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and another episode of our 100 infants challenge. If you haven't been keeping up so far, this is actually episode five. So I definitely recommend going back and watching the beginning of this series. I'll be linking the playlist down below. But if you have been paying attention and following along, you know that we are in grave danger today as as we have two toddlers, two infants, and another baby on the way. I don't know what Shella was thinking. She was impulsive last episode and she decided to get pregnant again. I hate past Shella. I have beef with her. I'm going to be real with you. There's nothing I can do about it now. So I guess we'll just hop right in and accept our fate. Oh God, it's already chaos. I just loaded in and there's so many kids on the floor. I think Bobby actually needs to go to bed. Oh, she did. She just fell asleep. I kind of like that they can fall asleep on these little mats. It makes it a lot easier. Okay, we're being mean to Nanny Hara. I'm not really sure why oh my gosh all of our romance went away why is that love lorn from romantic trait well i'm sorry i don't actually know why i don't know what happened it's a lot there's a lot going on right now first of all can we maybe not all be in the bathroom oh my god not best no i'm not giving you a thousand simoleons do you think i can afford that okay i need to double check and see if we have any leftovers we do we have a couple leftovers that's good a bubble blower no i don't have time to go to a festival cameron oh my god maybe i'll do a painting while all my kids are occupied Remember is gonna be having a baby probably in this episode by the way because we're in our second trimester in 17 hours so kind of nervous also someone recommended that i talk to nanny hara and tell her that i just want to be friends i don't know where that option is anymore now if i'm gonna be honest with you like i used to know where it is but now i'm like where would it be is it in romance no i'm so confused like i i don't know where those options are anymore in the comments can you all tell me where it is like i feel like it'd be under friendly maybe deep thoughts no, I, I really, I don't know where it is. I'm not going to spend more time looking for it though. This is crazy. All right, why are you so angry? You're tired? Okay, you can go to sleep. Don't even worry about it. You're also, oh my God, my kids are so hungry. Are you kidding me? How come they're not getting fed? Is it because I had them on the iPads all day? I Maybe that's my fault. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> maybe I need to be more careful about it. Ooh, oh no. He just had his first blowout and it was on Nanny Hara. At least it didn't happen on me. Dodge that bullet. Okay, but we should probably give him a bath. Excuse me, I would like to bathe my son. Excuse me. Put him down, please. I would like to bathe my son. Here we go. Now we're doing it. I'm glad to see that this game is still as glitchy as ever. That's a lie. I'm upset about how glitchy it is. I was reading through the comments on my last video though, and it looks like I'm not the only one that's having a lot of these issues. So in a way that's comforting to me, but also I feel bad for all of us. Like I wish none of us had to deal with all of these glitches. All right. Also, you all were telling me how it's easier if I have tasks done from the infant's perspective. So I'm going to start doing that a little bit more often. I've really been appreciating all of your advice. So thank you so much. Please don't stop helping me. Oh God. Did you get woken up by the baby crying? I hope not. Can you go to sleep, Dar? Why are you getting out of bed to fall asleep on the floor? I don't understand. Like he was in the bed. Okay. Can we maybe soothe to sleep and turn on a lullaby? I don't know. We need to do something so this kid will stop crying. Everything's going to be okay. It's so late at night. Okay. Bobby looks like she just pooped her pants. So I suppose I can maybe change her diaper. Nope. I guess not. Kimber doesn't want to do that because Nanny Hara is doing it. Okay, you know what? You can go to bed then, Kimber. That is perfectly fine with me. What would I do without you, Nanny Hara? I'm gonna be real. She's the true MVP of this challenge so far. Oh my gosh, we have a negative romance with her now? <gasps> drama. I mean, I guess I knew there was gonna be drama because we decided to have a baby with her. So like, I saw it coming, but dang. Babble milestone unlocked. Oh, that's so cute. Maybe you can play with your toys a little bit. That's fun. Uh-oh, everyone's waking up. Nope, disaster, disaster. We will, we will. <laughs> We're gonna have some issues. Okay, let's get some B BLTs for the toddlers. You're just really smelly, Dar. I'm sorry. I don't know if we have someone who can help you right now. Get fed by Hiriko, please. Thank you. And then maybe Hiriko can put us down on this uh toddler pad thing. No, don't go wake up, mom. Mom needs to sleep. You can ask Nanny Hiriko for a bath. Oh. Oh no. Okay, well, you know what? It's 4 a.m. I suppose that was enough sleep, right? I say as if I would ever get up at 4 a.m. <laughs> 
Okay, she's helping out a lot though. We should probably try to give Dara a bath. I also saw in the comments that a couple of people who play the 100 baby challenge only get three of their toddler skills to level three, which if that's the case, I could probably age up Dara today, which would be really exciting. And I kind of like the idea of that. So I think I'm gonna go for that instead of trying to get all five of the skills to level three. I mean, of course it makes sense that I'd like the easier route, but you can't blame me, can you? I'm just trying to be efficient, okay? Also, I kind of wanna have a child and not have a toddler anymore. So it'd be nice to have them age up. Okay, Dar, what skill do you need to get to level three? Communication? We can do that. We can just talk to Blarfy. Let's go babble to Blarfy and then I'll age you up probably today because we already have thinking and imagination at level three, which is really good. And then honestly, Zane's doing well too. Like we almost have our thinking to level three. And then if we just get our communication to level three as well, like we'll be good to go. We are in the clear. Oh my God, Kimber, no. Okay, you have to repair that. I'm sorry, Bessie. I know you hate handiness, but you broke the sink. Now let's go take care of our snowdrop. Oh no, we're too uncomfortable to take care of snowdrops that is not ideal okay well then let's clean up the area a bit oh toe and mouth milestone that's a cute one all right let's sell all and then water the snowdrops why did i get taken away from talking to blarfy i need to go talk to blarfy what is nanny hara doing with me put me down put me down i need to learn how to talk i'm gonna watch toddler videos stop trying to give me a bath i don't want a bath i love being stinky stinky for life gosh we're gonna have to think about adding another room to the house as well if we're gonna have kids because i'm gonna need to get like kid size beds now oh my gosh this is crazy you all i wonder where i should have the room go like i'm trying to think of like logistically how i would expand this house maybe i could move the bathroom somewhere else and like have this be a hallway to more rooms or i could just try to put some beds in here i don't know though seems a little bit difficult okay you're so close star you just need to get your communication level two zane you as well honestly i think both of the boys are going to be able to age up today because they're both uh just waiting on communication to get to level two all right kimber while you're fine Let's go ahead and do some cooking. Let's make some grilled cheese. Level three of the cooking skill. Let's freaking go. She's gonna have so many like high level skills by the end of this. Okay, slight problem. Dar's needs are not going so well. So I think we're gonna have to take a break. We're so close though. You know what? Fine, just grab some food and then we can come back and continue talking. But I'm not gonna like make my kids starve. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not a monster, okay? I'm just efficient. There's a difference. All right, also I'm probably gonna have to get a birthday cake made. So I think I'm gonna make a birthday cake after we finish feeding our daughter. Let's do a white cake. That's fine with me. Wait, no, leave that. I could sell that. Nanny Hara, no. That's 50 simoleons. Curse her. Always trying to help out. Who does she think she is? Why are we not eating our grilled cheese? Hello? Where are we going? Sir, can you figure this out? Why is he not eating his grilled cheese? I'm so confused. You walked all around and you decided not to eat that? That's on you, buddy. <gasps> clap milestone unlocked. Oh, Bobby discovered how to clap. That is so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? Hey, now, don't be stopping that butter chicken. I cannot finish making that. You need to go resume that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Okay, we are about to pass out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep. God, my kids are like so sad all the time. I, you know, I do feel bad. I do. I need them to go to sleep so that they feel better. Okay, Kimber is feeding us. That's great. When do the twins age up? I actually wanna check. Okay, they age up on Monday. That's good. Good. That's good. We're going to need that because I do not want to have three infants. Are you kidding me? All right, let's clean up that butter chicken that our nanny decided to not finish. Why does she keep hugging trash? Is she like a recycle disciple or something? Oh God, now our sink is broken. Everything is going wrong. Nanny Hara, will you please feed us? Please. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're hungry, Merlin. Stop that. He has a good appetite. Why? Get fed, please. Okay, we need to fix this sink now. Kimber is in a great mood for having to deal with so much of this stress right now. Like, I think she's in a better mood than I am. Oh God, we're gonna pee our pants. Okay, I kind of want to do tummy time, but I feel like my kids are sleeping. So maybe I should go try to take a nap while the kids are sleeping. That might be a smart idea. Nanny Hara is giving Merlin a bath. Can you put me to bed, Nanny Hara? Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna go night night now. Night night. <laughs> oh my God, Cameron's over at my house again. Why? I guess he keeps coming back because he still has romance with me. But like, I don't want to continue our relationship. All I needed was a baby from you. That's it. All right, nap successful. We're feeling a lot better after that nap. But we're feeling guilty from someone nearby. Wait, why? It's Kimber's fault things turned out the way they did, or at least it feels that way. What happened between them? Did I miss something? Hold on. Oh, it's because I said she couldn't move in with us. 
That's why she's so upset? Are you for real? Not close enough. Jericho feels very hurt by Kimber's rejection. She thought they were closer than that. Well, girl, listen, you basically live here anyways. Like, what else do you want from me? It's a bit too much. All right, let's go do a painting. We gotta keep making money so we can afford another bedroom. Because Dar and Merlin, I think we're gonna try to age up today. And then I think we'll probably even get the infants aged up. I don't know though. We'll have to see. Lots of progression happening today. Very exciting. Okay, the Todds are gonna want some food when they wake up. So I'm putting an offering of grilled cheese right here. Come and get it. Perfect. They're both very sad though. I feel really bad about that. Like, I feel like I'm trying my best to make them happy and it's just not working no matter what I do. Okay, toddler video time. Perfect. Let me just sell these plates in your inventory too, by the way. Why do you have so many like plates going on, my dude? All right, Zane as well. I'm gonna need your plates. This money trash can is kind of a lifesaver. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Okay, let's sell that painting. And how's our talking skill going? Oh my God, we're about to do it. We can age you up. 99%. Come on, Dar. Come on. We did it. Communication level three. Let's freaking go. I think I'll just wait for Zane to also be ready and then I'll age them both up at the same time. They're pretty much conceived at the same time, so it makes sense. All right, let's get a bubble bath. Bobby is dirty. We need to give her a bath, please, Kimber. Thank you. Oh, does she not like it? Want night night. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we can go to bed after this. We just need to get a bath first, okay? We smell really bad. I'm sure you understand. How did this diaper get here? Where was that coming from? Oh God, Kimber's really stressed out right now. Oh my God, she's gonna pee her pants. <gasps> I didn't notice. Quickly, go quickly. You're gonna pee your pants. That's so embarrassing. Not again. I can't let it happen again. Come on, Zane. You're so close, my little guy. 96%. Let's freaking go. Zane is level three. Okay, we can age them both up now. So let's get the birthday cake out. Kimber, eat that. And then we will age up both of your older sons into kids. Oh my God, this is gonna suddenly become so much easier. Oh, new personality trait. Kimber has recently been eating a lot of meatless dishes recently. Should she embrace a vegetarian lifestyle? Here's the thing. I'm fine with vegetarian lifestyle. I'm fine with vegetarians, but in the Sims, your Sim will autonomously eat things that are not vegetarian and then get mad. And I find it a very annoying trait to deal with, especially in the 100 baby challenge where I have so much going on. So I'm going to say nor bestie. We are not going to decline. We're not going to accept that. Do I have an extra trait already? Yeah, we got cheerful. Okay. Well, there we go. Um, Dar handles help from Kimber. Kimber's about to pass out. So we need to hurry up. Come on. It's time to age up. This is going to be so fun. We're going to have our first kids. Wait, why didn't that work? Handles help from Kimber. Get out of the way, nanny. Here we go. No, no. Is she trying to give me a bath? Put me down. Put me down. I'm trying to age up. Please put me down. I don't want to go night night. Oh my God. No, wake up. Wake up right now. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm waking up Dar. I'm about to pass out too. Oh my God. I'm going to lose my freaking mind, you guys. Handles help from Kimber. Please. Thank you. No, 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 no. Don't put him down. Please age him up. Oh my God. I'm going to lose it. I'm done. I'm losing it. <laughs> it's not going well. Please stop talking to her. Is it because this is on a wrong, like, why won't, why won't you come over here and age up? No, mm, I'm going to lose my mind. Go here. She won't put him down. I'm cheating Kimber's needs a little bit because I'm literally trying so hard. I'm trying so freaking hard right now to age up my son. And it's just like the game is being glitchy. Here we go. It's happening. We can do it. Age him up. Time to remember this moment. Why do I look haunted? Kimber looks like she's seen like something. <laughs> okay, finally, humble Borpna. God, that was a nightmare. Hopefully Zane isn't that hard to age up. Both of them are so like hungry and tired though. Okay, we're gonna do a random number between one and five. Give me a random number between one and five. All right, we got four. So that is social. And now we're gonna randomize Dar's first trait. Fingers crossed it's something that's like not that bad. Here we go. Oh, music lover. Oh my gosh, I hardly ever get Sims that are music lovers. That's kind of fun. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, now let's help Zane blow out the candles and then I'll go into cast and give them both little, little makeovers. No, no, you get away. Evil woman, help Zane blow out the candles. Please, for the love of God. And once again, she looks like she has seen something. God, I've never had so many issues with like just trying to age up a kid. That's crazy. Hobble Borpna. Let's see what traits we get here. Give me a random number between one and five. Okay, we got a two and two is mental. And now let's see what Zane's random trait is. Something good. Active. Okay, that's fine. That's a fine trait. I like that. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into cast and give them little 
cast makeovers. God, that was a nightmare. Looking good, Kimber. You're gonna have your baby soon. That's exciting. Oh my gosh, I forgot Zane had a birthmark. I don't even remember that being there. Did I put that there? I probably did, right? Wow, this is peak towny fashion. I'm gonna just maybe give you some default outfits. You look so cute though. I even like, I like the hair that you aged up with. You can keep that. He looks a lot like Bess. All right, styled looks. I'll just put him in a couple styled looks. I don't really like to spend too much time on Cass, especially for like the 100 baby challenge. It's like whatever, you know what I mean? All right, so there we have little Zane. He's active. Now time for Dar. This is like Justin Bieber hair. Oh my gosh, your freckles changed. No, I want you to have the freckles that I gave you. These ones. I'm gonna pick a different hair for him. This is one of the new hairs. I feel like this kind of looks good on him. He definitely has like Kimber's eye shape. I think he looks really cute. Just giving them both some like pretty basic outfits. I'm not too concerned about what they look like. All right, so here we have Darlin and Zaynlin. They both look really good. And we have another baby on the way. All right, we have a problem. We need to go into build mode and add some beds. What is this floating? I don't even know what's going on with that Wabbit tablet. So, God, I don't really have the best of space here, do I? This is gonna be interesting. Let me see if I can get something to work. Okay, this is not the most ideal use of space I'm starting to discover, but it's gonna have to work. We will be building a new house eventually so i think it's fine for now it's always hard to expand upon a house that is already like there that already exists definitely fit some beds in this room though i'd actually put the window on this wall then i'm thinking bunk beds are probably the smartest option here we'll get these new ones from the growing together we'll just start with two for now since we only have two boys god i love the dino i kind of want to do dino beds i can use the dino rug as well oh yeah oh yeah that's the stuff right there i think there's actually like like a dino wallpaper as well this green one right here i think that's kind of really cute i like it a lot now we need to get like a couple of items for skill building so i think for sure let's get like an activity table for them to like draw on i think that should function Hopefully it does. If not, I can move things around a little bit again. This bedroom is so small, so we can't really do too much. But maybe we could also get like a science table. Hopefully, I'm pretty sure you can still get into bed. I'm gonna swap these curtains out. Maybe that will help too. I guess I can just put the science table up against the window. Like, that's fine. It's it's a crowded room. I think our second rendition of the 100 baby house is gonna be a lot like better. We'll have a lot more money to spend. So I'm not too, I'm not too concerned about it right now. You know what I mean? Okay, I really, really like this. I think that this room is turning out really nice. I also feel like I should probably have, this might be silly, but I feel like I should probably have another window on this wall. Um, but I don't know for sure. Just feels like there should be a window over here or something in this kid's room. Yeah, there we go. Just so it's not so dark. Okay, and then we still have our bathroom over here. We have a little nook here as well. So I'm wondering like if there's anything we can put in here that would be good for skill building. I'm almost thinking maybe like a computer desk type of situation because we don't really have a family computer space yet so maybe i'll do like a little desk a little chair and we can move the computer over here for now i think that's fine and we can end up like decorating the walls and stuff with like the kids drawings i think that could be kind of exciting or with kimber's paintings because kimber is a beautiful artist like very very talented so might as well take advantage of that all right and i think that's it in terms of its items that i need right off the top of my head obviously this room is not going to last for long but i think it's okay it can also double as a teen room, even though it's not very teen themed. All right, my my dude, we're going to have you come take a shower and then you can have the bottom bunk and then I'm going to give Dar the top bunk. Come on, little buddy. You can come to bed over here now. Nanny Har is like, oh, just checking out the beds. They look nice. <laughs> oh, how exciting. We have boys now. We have young boys. All right. How close are we to having our baby, Kimber? That's what the people want to know. Third trimester in eight hours. Okay, it's getting close. I don't know. Maybe we won't have another baby baby this episode. It might be next episode. I feel like this episode is taking me longer than I thought. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, what's wrong with Merlin? Maybe play with the toys? Nanny Har is making some food. I don't know what she's making, but honestly, I'm happy that she's gonna help out and stuff. Okay, she made a oh meat casserole. That's nice. Oh, there's something stinking in here. What could it be? Oh, the fish tacos are spoiled. Okay, we'll have to get rid of those. For some reason, it won't let me drag it out, and I think it's like something to do with having a guest stay over. You can't actually like interact and move the food that they make, because I'm pretty sure these were made by Eleanor. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, we also have two Wabbit tablets that I'm just gonna put on the floor for now for the next toddler.
dollars. Oh, thank gosh it's Sunday. So my poor tired boys don't have to go to school being so exhausted. That's good news for us. All right, Kimber, rise and shine. It's time to get up and get the day going. Dar, you can go into the bathroom and use the toilet. We're definitely gonna need another bathroom here. Like, I think that might be our next investment because we are slowly running out of sanity. And now that the kids are old enough to use the bathroom, like it's definitely gonna take, it's gonna be like more and more hard to share it between us all. Hi, Bobby, what's wrong? Oh, she's like, put me down right now. I do not like being held. I do not wanna be here. Is she even stinky, Kimber? Are you just changing her diaper for fun? Okay, go for it. I mean, up to you, man. All right, Dar, you're gonna come over here and get some leftovers. Look at our little lad. Do you remember when he was born? It's almost like it was just yesterday. He's so grown up now. I'm so proud of him. Pincer grass milestone unlocked. Wait, that's exciting. I feel like if she ha was able to lift her head, we could eat the food in the high chair now. That's exciting. Do a family kiss. Wait, I don't know if I've seen the family kiss. Why are you not able to do that? Family kiss with Bobby. That sounds so cute. Oh, Nanny Hara is interacting with her. Maybe that's why. All right, Kimber, third trimester in 33 minutes. So that means probably tomorrow around noon, we'll have our baby, which you know what? I think we can squeeze it in in this episode. I know what you guys want. You just want me to spin the name wheel. And honestly, I want to spin the name wheel too. So I think we'll try to get through this day. Okay, Dar, now that you're in a better mood, can you do your homework? Oh my God, they also got earbuds. I'm selling those. Mine. Thank you. I will take that money. Oh my God. As a toddler, you were on the bathroom floor all the time on your Wabbit tablet. And now as a child, you're on the bathroom floor doing your homework. This cannot be a trend. Like we only have one bathroom. You literally cannot keep doing this to me, Dar. Are you joking? Oh my God. God, we need to clean this. Okay, Zane, you've been like conked out for a while. Are you good, dude? I think maybe you should wake up. Oh, Nanny Hara said terrific work for Dar's homework. That's so sweet of her. So encouraging. All right, good morning, Zane. Rise and shine. Get some food. Do your homework. Oh, wow. Kimber is getting some sleep right now. I don't blame you. The infants are down. Might as well. Dar wants to go outside on the swing set. Oh my god, the swing set's finally getting some use. Let's freaking go. That's so exciting. This whole playground area that I built will finally see some use. We could also like build the treehouse too. That's kind of exciting. What does Nanny Hara want to talk to us about? Can I help you? No, you just debated me. You didn't even want to talk to me. Okay. Okay, dude. All right, Zane is busy working on homework. I think Nanny Hara is helping us. Oh, it's raining. Does it always rain in Brindleton Bay? I feel like it's really common. Let's go swing with your brother. You two are going to be besties. I kind of tried to give them like similar uh cold weather outfits because i think it's kind of cute to have them match a little bit uh oh that was short-lived peace guess who's up it's bobby let's do some tummy time together and then i'm gonna see about um giving you a bath i think i hope we can get a milestone with this that's like my main goal tummy time lift head milestone let's freaking go that's so exciting i'm so proud of you bobby okay we're about to pair pants kimber Kimber, do you want to go to the bathroom? Come on now. Okay, we'll ask mom to give us a bath now. Bobby needs a bubble bath. Okay, Merlin looks like, oh, he is like not having fun with <laughs> She's like so happy. Wait, is she hugging him and trash right now? <gasps> oh my God, she's holding my son lovingly. And he's like, please, I don't want to be near this trash bag lady. And she's like hugging both of them. Wait, that is so cursed. I hate that. I hate every moment of that. Can you feed me lady? I'm hungry. There we go. That's better. Thank you. Let's look at the toys maybe. I wonder if I can like give her a toy close enough that she's able to like play with it. Oh, I have to be able to sit up to play with that toy. Dang it. What about this toy? Can you play with that? That would make me so happy. Please just grab it. You know you want to. It's right here. You can do it, Bobby. Oh, Nanny Hara is ruining my life. Can you play with this, Merlin? I just want to see the baby grab the rattle. That's all I want. No, Nanny Hara, you got to stop doing that. She keeps like taking them off their play mat. Okay. <gasps> there we go. Oh my gosh, she's doing it. Look at how cute you are. You little cutie holding your little rattle. Maybe I'll get another toy out for, uh, for Bobby. Or sorry for Merlin. Oh my gosh, I have too many kids. I'm gonna be calling the kids the wrong name pretty frequently, so get used to it. <laughs> Let's take a nap. Zane, what's wrong, buddy? You're nauseous and uncomfortably wet. Well, you know what could stop that? Not being outside, my friend. Why don't we come inside and dry off and stuff? Dar's having a great time. He's just a little tired. Honestly, it can be bedtime soon. I don't blame you. It seems like he's loving the playground I made for him, which makes me so happy. Both of the boys love it. Look at them go. All right, kids. It's time to get ready for bed, though. At least for you, Dar. You're 
quite tired. Bobby is very hungry. Feed her before she gets taken away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Feed Bobby quickly. Please feed her. We need this. Thank you. Oh my god. That's like the second time Bobby's almost gotten taken away. You want to change out of your wet clothes, buddy? That's better. There we go. Much more comfortable now. Okay, I'm gonna maybe have him watch um, Brainchild Learning because this is a new kids channel that came with this pack and apparently it's supposed to help your kids with their mental skill. Look, there it goes. I like that. Perfect. That's what we need. Put me to bed. There we go. Okay, everything is going great. Everything, everything is going fine according to plan. We're gonna have a baby tomorrow. That's, oh God. Just when I get rid of one, another one, another one shows up. That's how this challenge works though, isn't it? All right, Zane, it's getting late. I know you're not that tired, but I'm gonna need you to go to bed. And Kimber took a poo so big it broke the toilet. Honestly, relatable. What are you making this time, Nanny Hara? It looks like a salad. Oh no, she just really likes making BLTs. Honestly, that's fine. BLTs are great. Dar, go to bed. Why are you up? Both of you go to sleep. Wait, I forgot that the infants also age up today. That's exciting. So we'll actually have toddlers and a newborn. Good morning, Kimber. Are you up to take care of Merlin? That's so sweet of you. She's gonna go give him a bath. That doesn't make sense to me though, because he's in a dirty diaper. So you would think that they would like change the diaper if they're gonna give them a bath, but I feel like they put them back in the poopy diaper, which literally makes no sense. Oh, Merlin unlocked the blow raspberry milestone. That's cute. All right, here we go. Can you give Bobby a bath? She definitely looks like she needs it. That's for sure. Oh gosh, I'll probably age them up whenever Kimber has the baby. Lots of age ups today. But that's very exciting. We got some exciting times ahead of us. And I think it's definitely going to help having older kids now. Oh, we got 1700 in child support. That's more than the bills. That's good, actually. That means I don't really have to worry about money too much, hopefully, which is very needed because we need to expand the house as much as possible. All right, boys, you have school today. Do you want to make sure that you're ready to go? Zane is up and at him. Maybe take care of your hygiene and stuff. Dar's hungry. Get some food and have a good first day at school. School. I think it's so cute that when you send them to school, they draw like a first day of school picture now. So I'm definitely going to keep that. In fact, I kind of want to get the family heirloom box to put those in. Oh, what are they called? Keepsake maybe? Yeah, 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 yeah. This thingy. I want to get one of these and we will put our very important family things in there. Kimber, where are you going, buddy? You need to take care of your needs, okay? Let's water and weed the plants. Our snowdrops are looking beautiful. You're going to have a baby any moment now. I'm so excited. I say as if I don't already know what the baby is. It's a baby boy because we checked. Oh, I ruined the surprise. It's fine. Okay, study hard. Dar, you need to go to school too. Come on. Who's calling me? Oh, I'm calling to let you know that Eleanor Sullivan has passed away. I thought you might want to know. <gasps> oh my gosh, Grandma Eleanor. No, I'm sorry. You don't know her. I'm taking that sadness mood little way. That is not, that's so sad actually. She helped me out so much. I'm glad she didn't die at my house though. That, that was nice of her, not die at my house. Yeah, my child doesn't know Eleanor. There's no way. It was too young. All right, infants, I'm getting ready to age you up. You're on my last nerve. It is your birthday today, so. Ooh, when Zane gets to class, he realizes his timeline is due. One he was supposed to start weeks ago. He eyes the stack of papers piling up on his teacher's desk. All he needs is a few minutes alone with one. Does he try to copy a classmate or confess the truth. Hmm. Copy of classmates. Yes, performance gain small. Okay. Whew. Sometimes that doesn't go very well. Stay in school, kids. It's Bobby's birthday today. <gasps> Oh my God, we're in labor. It's happening. Everybody stay calm. Go have your baby. And then we can age up everyone too. This is exciting. Oh my gosh, I gotta get the wheel ready. Oh God, I have to take off ley lines too. Why did it do that? I'm not having twins again, right? I literally looked and it was just one boy, right? Hey, all right, everybody. I have added so many names to this wheel of names. We have a lot more that I've been adding from the comments. Again, if you would like to see your name of choice on this wheel, make sure to leave a comment down below. I go through them as often as I I can and I try not to have any like repeat names so it's a little difficult but I'm doing my best and if I missed your name in the last batch uh feel free to upload it on this video as I will be looking through these comments as well hopefully I, I got yours though I tried my best let's go ahead and spin that wheel where it stops I guess we'll find out. Let's freaking do this. What are we getting? Ooh, Pascal. Pascal Lynn. That's a nice name. I really like it. Okay, yeah, it's just one boy. Thank God. Oh my God, I got worried there when I saw the ley lines thing. Let me go into build by and remove ley lines really quick. <laughs> All right, Pascal is here. And now we're gonna age up the twin fence. 
So Bobby, gosh dang it, Bobby, it's time to age you up. Oh, bye, Nanny Hara. She took 395 simoleons. Dang, that's a lot. Okay, I'm feeding the baby first. Good call, good call. Why did she leave me when I just had another kid? Like, you think she would stay? Also, what is going on with that tree? Do you see that? Whoa, whoa, that looks cool, but I don't think that's how it's supposed to look. Scary. All right, let's age up Bobby. Hold on, Merlin, you're next, you're next. Humble Borpna, Bobby. Okay, we got a bonus trait, top-notch infant and thinking one. So let's see which toddler trait we get. Again, I'm always hoping for independent. If I get fussy, I'm leaving. Let's go. Oh, angelic. Okay. Honestly, not bad. I'll take it. Look at how cute she is. She's our little goober. Oh my God. I love her so much. Movement skill. Okay. I think I have to wake up Merlin so that I can age him up or something. I don't know what's happening. No, don't put her in the high chair. What are you doing? Oh, she's hungry. Okay. That's fine. Kimber. Kimber, please. Go wake up Merlin. Also, Bobby got the messy eater quirk. That's a cute one. Bobby's extra messy around food. Oh, she looks so sad. Okay, here comes Merlin. Happy birthday, Merlin. Bombo Borpna. Okay, we got a top-notch infant trait. Now let's see. Fingers crossed for independence. Oh, wow. They both got angelic. Okay, they both have the same infant and toddler traits. That is interesting. Very interesting. All right. Well, I think this is a really good spot to end today's episode right here at the end. We had another child. Oh, I need to update the baby counter. Oh my God. Y'all were probably screaming at me to do that. My bad. Okay. Here we go. Five. There we go. I updated it. Oh, almost forgot. <laughs> but I think this is a really good spot to end today's episode. We have another baby. We have two toddlers, two children. Lots has happened. And I'm very proud of how we are progressing so far. And I feel like maybe Kimber is at a place right now where she won't need a nanny for a while. I don't know. I don't want to speak too soon, but let's just uh, leave because the baby started crying. So I'm going to go now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. It was definitely like chaotic, but not too chaotic. Like I feel, I feel like I'm safe now. I have kids. I have toddlers, which I never thought you would hear me say I feel safe with toddlers, but I do. There's a little fuzzy in front of my camera lens. Oh my God. I can see it on screen. Sorry. Uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and all of my other content. Thank you all so much for subscribing. We've gained a lot of subscribers recently. It really means a lot. So if you want to show support for the channel, make sure you do so and leave a like as well. Comment baby names. And until next time, I love you all a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro. But thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.